So, hi everybody and welcome back. This is our Unreal Engine 5 tutorial series for Absolute Beginners. This is video 106 and in this video I will try to implement now our character switch. I show you what I mean when I start the game. We have here the character switch. It is not perfect what I made so far because um, there are some fixes to do, but for the demonstration which I'm going to do, it will be enough. So what I'm going to do is I hover over this character here and we learned in our last video how to make a screenshot and you see I replaced the button with the screenshot and with this hover and if I click on it now I'm the first person character and you see here the first problem uh, when I switch they destroy not here the weapons I have forget to destroy the weapons as well it's just a destroy weapon node and then I can go here to this character here can use now my first person and you of course you can now create a nice first person uh, widget here instead what i did i just removed here the buttons for um which has access to the third person character and then i can press here again here and i'm back to my character so and yeah that's more it what we are going to do there are some issues for example but not so wild these are all fixable like i showed and the important is how we switch the characters here. So let's get almost started. Before we start, I show you something what I did before. I talked about cleaning up uh, a little bit the messy code and I said you have to put all important data, for example, to the game mode. I did this more or less just so on the fly and show you. Now my gameplay looks like this because I, um, let's say I call now the functions here. For example, I call this button. When I press on a button, it will be called here this custom event. And the reason for that is <clears throat> because this button is a skill and I don't want that uh, uh, the client, for example, should change the skill usage. For example, this is to cheat, right? You can set the, the skill can be used all time something like that and i don't want that and that's why the skill is now here in our game mode which means this game mode will run only on the server and that makes only sense if it's not a single player because if you make anyway a single player which is never be a multiplayer then uh, it's not so important that it run here but when you make even a single player and put it in the uh, game mode it's a good practice because you made it right from the start so let's uh, with that said i have moved all the other variables as well here um, so all important ones let's say so and i created here on the left side a special folder and i hope you know how to make this it's very easy when you create a variable you go here to category it says by normally default and then you write your own in it and then move all the variables there for example you can see i have this kill streak counter they should not change it my life counter and i called them global life here this was the reason because perhaps uh, i make a, a life local for example the first person character life or the uh, third person character life they are separated and you see all are now more or less a little bit i did not too much Build a little bit of cleaning. So I what as uh, what I did in general is I just put it all in game mode and reworked all my messy code a little bit. And with that said, you you can see my widget blueprint here. This one has all the important data now running on my game mode. I show you that this one here, for example, this is my life. The binding here, when I click it, you see. I have to call my game mode and then I get here the current life and that will get from the game mode, right? So all is on game mode. The same thing goes here. The gold here or what this is, I click on it and you see I have to go to my game mode and then I get there the variable and this one will be displayed here. So that's that. And the next thing is what we have to talk is now how to create uh, this widget uh, switching and I mentioned this some videos uh, before what I did 
is not perhaps the best solution, but it is one solution, which is just I go to my UI folder and I go to my character and I have duplicated this one, which means um, I will just uh, spawn the one widget here. And if I don't need it, I spawn the next widget and back forth, back forth all time switching like here i spawn now this is my third person template you can see i have here the third person controls here with attack and something like that but when i click here i have no more attack accessible of course you should um, style this widget very nice and with that said yes i have here many arrows but these arrows are I will explain these errors as well. These are interesting errors here, actually. I can explain this one more. Because when I created this widget, I have not taken into account that some of these functions have timers. And like this one, delay is a timer. And that means uh, this one will run for five seconds, for example. But the problem is, when I press here, and let's say I press this one, you see now I activated, I can run fast and switch in this time to the next widget, which means it removes the active widget. It says uh, you destroyed the widget or pending kill and you have to catch this uh, case, which means um, that you program, for example, so that the timer must um, finished or you have to cancel the timer or something like that so that you can switch right without errors the errors are there because the other widget are still referenced while the timer is still not uh, still running in the background and i switch already the widget but this kind of fixes this we will not talk here we are going now straight to the implementing how we make the switch so there is one more thing what I want to talk perhaps and that's very important and that was the bug which caused me a little bit headache <laughs> because I wanted to make it fast for a demonstration right and then I said hey yeah I create this widget it's very easy we create this widget and when we don't need it I destroy this widget right this is so straightforward uh, thing very easy to do and actually in uh, UA5 blueprints it makes problem and especially this destroy destroy widgets is not behaving what we think of what i mean with that let me show you this one fast because this will can cause problems on your side too the point is uh, for example we create a widget let's create here just for fun a widget great widget so you are creating here a widget then you add this to the viewpoint, right? So normal. And later, let's say you want to get rid of this widget. Okay, let's go here, continue and say, okay, I want get rid of all because I want switch now to the to the other widget because I clicked here the switch button and now I want the first person uh, widget. So then you call later anywhere this remove widget, not here, but anywhere later remove widget, for example uh we'll remove uh let's call this one widget remove remove all widgets or you have here both um, options both are more or less the same uh, remove all widgets means you are removing all widgets and remove from parent and here you specify the specific widget which means if you have for example two widgets active then you can say okay the this widget i want removed which is in front and the other widget perhaps I still keep something like that and I used in my case remove all widgets which means because I don't need any widgets at start I recreate all them remove all widgets and this remove all widgets is not destroy it is kind of destroying but not behaving like we know it what I mean with that is this remove uh, all widgets is removing the widget from the viewport that works but the problem is this remove widget is is not removing from the storage which means if you recreate the same widget later it will cause an um, internal problem because it says it is referenced in your memory and then i can't create it again 
And why is this a problem in my case? Because what I wanted to do is in general, like so, I say, hey, hey, I nah, cancel this one. Okay, let me <laughs> let me do this one fast back. If, mm, connect this one. So what I wanted to do is just I start. So I create my first widget. <clears throat> and when I create this button here, the switch button, I want that this third person widget, what we have here, should be destroyed because I create then the next one. And then you see that works. I created now the next one. And now I, when I create, uh, click here again to the third person character, so back, I go back, then I want that you create again the first one and this one. And this one works not with destroy. So this is exactly this problem here. Um, you are creating, you are removing, and later you come back to the same point. And that will make a problem because it is not removed um, in the memory. <clears throat> That's the problem. And I don't know why they make this so. But in C++, I think there are probably ways to destroy them explicitly and in blueprint perhaps there are also ways but i found it not on the f fly because i spent not too much time on it but i read some uh, forums and they said uh, the reference it's a little bit uh, hard to remove and there is another way to do what you can do and this, this other way we will use that's why it's using now here uh, that's why it's using now here. The other way is just we are not removing the widget. We are more collapsing the widget. Collapsing means this widget, which I created here in first place, it's still there in memory behind the scene. It's just not visible anymore. And then when I click this one, it makes it invisible and the other one visible. And that is the solution for right now. This is not the intended solution what I wanted because I don't want widgets uh, to be in the memory normally. This is so the normal way. You don't want that the widgets stay in memory uh, because it can cause, um, for example, performance problems or it, it can cause um, some bugs because when something is in memory, which is not really not should be there because it is not more, it is normally remove destroyed so and still in memory can cause problems so in general but yeah perhaps you find a better solution than me uh, so what i want to point out is if you find a way to destroy a widget with our with um, removing from the memory write it perhaps down in the comments or link uh, where you found a solution or something like that I'm interested in the, uh, in the solution, and if not, not so hard. I will dive a little bit in C++, I think, and uh, remove them there, because I know in C++ you have a little bit more, uh, let's say, abilities to call exactly the point where this reference is, and then you can say, please, bye, something like that. And in Blueprint, it's not uh, all time that possible, because the Blueprint is <clears throat> like uh, it's a conversion from C++ to the Blueprint system and it must be here implemented um, and yeah provided. With that said, <clears throat> I talk too much again. I see. And that's why <laughs> we implement now the, uh, the thing what uh, we are going to implement now. Uh, we do it in the next video. But before we go to the next video where we really are going to implementing this uh, it doesn't matter with arrows this we can fix and so but important is there are actually two solutions what i mean with that um two solutions for uh, switching or let's say not switching the switching i said already we are using this solution with collapsing the widget i can show you what i mean uh, yeah when i implement this i will show you but what i mean with two solution how we can for example um, keep this uh, character in the scene or spawn it from scratch. So what I mean with that is you can, let me show you here, you can spawn the character later. Um, let's see, this is not the spawn place here. 
here you can spawn the character all time when you switch the scene which is the solution which i showed you here but the other solution is you spawn one time the character and then you teleport the character to a, a hidden place and all time when you switch the characters you use this teleport node which means bring back the character from the hidden place and put the other character in a hidden place this is also a solution and the question is why we not use just this normal spawning sometimes i don't know perhaps spawning can cost performance or there are other reasons why you don't want to spawn it you won't just keep them in your uh, in your level and just for this purpose you teleport it away and there is this teleport i don't know why i have not it here let's see if ah here <clears throat> i have still this one here because this one is this uh, version where we use just teleport we get the character which we want teleport and then we, we specify later the location where and then which means we hide the character when we switch for example to the first person then i hide the third person and later i switch this character forth and back this is a second solution and the first solution which i'm going to implement will be with the normal imp uh, <clears throat> with the spawn this character from scratch and uh, and yeah and destroy it later and perhaps you want not do this because there are different reasons why you don't want to do this sometimes or do this we will talk a little bit uh, about this one in the next video when we are going to implement this for real so that was again talk a lot but i think that's very important because there are issues and yeah <clears throat> some uh, things but yeah all doable so with that said i think i stop here and like all i said if you find this solution how you can destroy a widget from the memory um well i mean uh removing the uh, what i mean with destroying widget by the way i have not explained this one let's say this one fast too um when we have created here a widget for example here yeah, i created a widget here yeah, have i create a widget so you create a widget and then here yeah, i created even more widgets and then you add to few port right and then you can do of course um remove remove from viewport uh, from parent or remove all or whatever um something like that but this one is definitely not um destroying this widget and if you have a solution for that one which is also destroying the widget in the reference so you can call it again after you destroyed it and so on then post it please in the comments would be cool if not no problem i will find it later anyway anyhow <laughs> when i dive a little bit more into it and with that said um i stop here See you in the next video and like all time if you have any questions or complaints write it in the comments and good luck and bye.